I'm Gedi Milas. I was playing for a second Shalgiris team long, long time ago. A uh, little bit for Shalgiris main team. I was playing basketball for 15 or maybe more years. Just finished my uh, career uh, half a year ago and now I'm here. I'm Antanas. I'm 27 years old from Lithuania. Uh, working in Lithuania Sports University, also I'm a PhD student in Vilnius University. I joined one team when I was in the third year in, in the bachelor, now I'm third year in the, in a PhD, so I'm in, I can make a joke and I say like I'm in the other side now, I'm not a student but a lector, uh, working now in university, so yeah it's changed a lot. Two colleagues called me to, <laughs> to participate in this project. I heard earlier a little bit, but uh, I, I didn't expect it. It's, it's so professional and, 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 and so big, I would say. I expected to have fun, to, to, I expected to have a good time, and actually I'm, it's uh, more or less what I expected. Actually, previous volunteer uh, came to me and said, like, I'm going out of the town uh, and I don't have a, uh, more, you know, abilities to, to join uh, in every session. So could you change me and could you want to try it? And I said, yeah, so this is how I came here. I have uh, to have to work with uh, lots of different people who have different kind of thoughts, have different kind of opinions, have different kind of problems. So the experience that they bring from one team, it helps me a lot in every uh, daily work. Probably the most uh, beautiful thing from this program uh, then uh, when we meet kids in, a f in our first session so they are all shy, they are watching, they are afraid a little bit and uh, after a couple sessions they transform uh, very quickly and they already know, we know how we say hi, we know what we are doing before session, what we are doing after sessions. It's really interesting to see how they, they, they start to, to smile more, to, to speak more, to joke more. So it's really, for me, it's the most interesting and, uh, thing about the program. First of all, the kids can be surrounded with uh, people uh, who have the same problems, who have the same thoughts. Uh, they can share, they can be open-minded, uh, and I believe that's the most important thing. I believe the best memories is happening right now when we start working with the Special Olympics. Uh, the groups that we are bringing now, now together, it's uh, very fun. Uh, the uh, age difference is quite big, but at the same time they are very, all very different, but at the same time they are very all starts communicating between each other and start mixing up uh, and it's very funny and it's very inspiring and it's very good. Uh, the best memory for me probably uh, it was reactions from the kids when uh, they were participating in a Euroleague game before, before, uh, before game uh, when they throw the ball. Uh, so it was uh, like exciting moment for me also. I was a little bit nervous because uh, I should coordinate uh, all this process. And it was really nice to see the faces of the kids, how they are excited. And after we talked, it, it was like a dream for them. And it's really nice to, that we can make something that their dream would come true. So I had a story that happened a couple of years ago when we was working with juvenile prison. Uh, I remember one day I was working to the work and I, had, I heard uh, the voice and he he said like coach coach and I was like surprised because uh, no one calls me coach and I turned around and I saw one uh, participant from our program uh, and um, he came to me and I said like how are you doing and uh, etc and he said like um, I'm going to the work now I'm working in the bakery and bringing my brother to the football training and uh, uh, I said like 
like, uh, how is the one team for you? How, what is your feedback about the program? And he said, like, please continue this program. Uh, and it changed my life. It's, uh, it changed, I be he believes that it changed uh, all participants. So he shook my hand, he wished me good luck, and this, this uh, let's say, this inspires me to continue with this program. We called uh, some guys from our second team to see to see these kids, how they are enjoying, uh, how they are enjoying moments, how happy they are when they are in the sessions. That's what we are missing from our basketball players sometimes. They seem like it's the worst job in the world to, to play basketball, but we wanted them to see that uh, small, small uh, things uh, can, can, uh, can make uh, happiness and uh, that we can be happy from uh, small things. I believe it's no need any kind of motivation. These kind of examples that uh, I saw in uh, in the previous years that we had uh, uh, recognition from the Euroleague when we have uh, let's say that kind of a good feedback from the participant that motivates me the most. That I'm you know giving my time for a good reason for a, for a, for giving something to community that inspired me, inspires me most. I have two daughters at home, so it's uh, and that's what I'm saying uh, for for my daughters and what I'm thinking that these kids are the same like uh, like 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 normal kids. So they are, they are, they have the same uh, habits. They 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 want the same things. They just a little bit different, and uh, I'm uh, all the time I pay. Even in the streets, I, I try to pay attention if I see some kid uh, like, like this. So I come to him, I say hi, and uh, I see how happy they are, how their eyes are changing. So it's very nice. It's not like uh, it's very, very new thing for me to speak with the kids like this. I count them like, like our so society, like, like all of us. We are all one team.